Hello there. Today, as you can see, we're attempting to load and play Beta Grudge. Um, no loading screen on this one, which is a bit disappointing. Uh, and it's another request as well. This was requested again by David uh, Bandy about 17 million years ago. <laughs> um, I'm going to tackle this one a bit different though. We're not just going to play Beta Grudge. Just a second. We're going to tackle um, Space Harrier in the same video. I'll just turn it up. Yeah, we're going to tackle Space Harrier in the same video because this is a rip-off. Uh, no, get my tongue back in. Uh, this is a rip-off of Space Harrier. Uh, for those who don't know, this was uh, released in 1998 and it was a free game with Sinclair user. In the game, we play the Kamikaze Bear, which was the Sinclair uh, user mascot. Uh, it's an arcade shooter. And as I said, it's a total rip-off. You just won't get away with this thing, this sort of thing these days, uh, of space area. Um, so what I'm going to do is we're going to play this first for David Bandy, and then I'm going to uh, load space area up, and you can see uh, the similarities and the differences. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. So uh, no redefining keys. So I presume it's QA OP. Uh, if it's not, then I'm probably going to die a lot. <laughs> Right, so uh, bear a grudge on the ZX Spectrum. There we go. So there you can see bear, uh, the kamikaze bear in the corner. And we're on. Now, the first real big fault with this is, is you can't just keep pressing fire. Every time I press fire, it cancels the shot I fired before. So I've got to fire, and if it misses, then fire again. The second problem I have with this is it's really hard to tell what's on the same level as you. Um, so it's very easy to bump into those heads, or trees, <laughs> as I just did. As you can see there, I've lost one of the heads, so that's one of my life's gone. Um, I do really like the chum, um, but it's, I know it was free, but there's some really annoying bits to this. <laughs> it's really hard to shoot anything for a start off. Um, I, I'm just firing and hoping, to be honest. Uh, one thing that's worth mentioning is if we get far enough, you'll get to see uh, some caricatures of the original uh, writers and producers of the Sinclair user magazine. Because they're all in the game, or the heads are anyway, as various baddies. Um, I think there was another kamikaze game. I can't remember what it was like. Well, uh, I think we're approaching the end of the level baddie now. Oh, now we're approaching level two. <laughs> yeah, that bar under the lives, when that gets down... Oh, this looks really hard. When that gets down, you've reached the end of the level. Yeah. Problem with this sort of game is I can't see for my own character. Got through that. No, oh, you see, I'd have thought he wasn't on uh, the same level as me, but yet I've died. <laughs> Game over. That's actually the furthest I've got. <laughs> right, we'll have another go. We'll, we'll give it another go. Yeah, I'm, I'm not a fan to be honest. I remember it being a lot better than it is. I'm dead already. Yeah, I, I, I remember having this back in the day, <coughs> and I'm sure I enjoyed it, but um, to be honest, it's, it's not aged very well at all. Oh, you see, like I said, it's, it's really hard to work out what's on the same playing field as you and what's in the background. And also, due to the fact that you can only shoot once, oh, it's painful. <laughs> Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. We didn't get very far at all that time. Let's go in again. <laughs> I do like that bit with the uh, speed cycle type thing, waving. Oh, it's, it's, it's that busy and... Just shoot somebody. <laughs> no! Uh, so obviously the first goal was a float because... I'm, 
died already. <laughs> you dickhead. Right, one more go. And then we'll load. <sighs> then we'll load space our hero. I think the best thing to do with this bit is to just wait till they've buggered off. I can't hit any of them. It makes a noise when you hit one. Uh, I don't think we've heard it very often yet. See, it's... Oh, I've missed it. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to duck them. I'm going to duck them. You see, I'd have said that tree was further in front. But, yeah, I've run into it. It's hard work. It's hard work. I'm not enjoying this at all. So yeah, that's Bear the Grudge. A um, few questions before we pause the camera. Uh, did you have the U your Sinclair tape back in the day? What did you think to it? I, I, coming back to it now, I, I, I'm very disappointed. Uh, yeah, yeah, won't be revisiting that one. Right, so I'm going to pause it now and we'll load uh, Space Area and have a look at that. So as you can see, now we're attempting to load Space Area, also on the ZX Spectrum, obviously. Um, so the reason we're loading this now is, as I said earlier, um, Bear the Grudge was basically a rip-off of this game. So I thought it'd be interesting to play them back-to-back. -back. Space Area is actually the older game. Um, this, just a second. <coughs> this came out in uh, 1986, almost by Elite. And is based on the 1985 Sega Classic Arcade Machine. Um, we're playing this one off the original tape. I've got the box here. and I think you can just about see the uh, arcade machine down there. Uh, and I presume, because they are Spectrum graphics. <laughs> they might actually be the arcade machine graphics. But they're not the specy. Yeah, so we're playing this just to show um, how how much uh, Bear the Grudge was a rip-off of Space Area. Uh, but in my opinion, even though it's a couple of years older, this is far, far better. Um, basically, we have to save Dragonland, which is controlled by evil creatures. And also an interesting factor to, I found earlier, the original uh, the original game was supposed to be uh, like a jet fighter thing, like uh, Afterburner. But uh, due to memory issues, uh, they decided to, to ditch the planes and turn it to a guy. Um, which I thought quite interesting. Anyway, I like little things like that. So here we actually do get to rede redefine the keys. And we'll just turn it up. Although one thing that the Better Goods game had over this is it had music. Uh, there's no music on Space Area on the Spectrum. Which is a shame. Because as I remember, the sound effects on the arcade machine were awesome. So yeah, Space Area. Get ready. So all you've got basically is shooting effects and the sound of something getting hit. Other than that the game is totally silent. Which is a shame because as I said I remember the uh, arcade machine had some great sound effects. I, I would have thought they'd have been able to do something on the uh, <laughs> just saying, yeah, something on the uh, Spectrum version. But it, but it is quite an early title so I suppose we can let them off. Now, with this game, I can shoot and shoot, not like Bear the Grudge, where it was one shot and that was your lot. Oh, I'm dead again. <laughs> it's quite fast. It's, it's hard to talk over at the same time. Um, there's the score in the middle, and the, on the right is the amount of lives I've got. So I've got seven left. So hopefully we'll be able to at least get onto the second world. Yeah. Oh, bugger. I keep forgetting to dock. <laughs> so it, it does have a similar problem to Bear the Grudge in the fact that it's hard sometimes to see what's coming due to the guy in the screen. Oh, run away. Oh, this is the end of level baddie. This dragon thing. Oh, he's kicking my ass. He shoots these big, I don't know what they are, smarties. Shoots smarties at us. <laughs> and he's eating me more than I'm eating him. Right, I'm going to have to concentrate. No. Just die. 
big flying dragon thing. I won't die. Run away. No, oh, it's got me again. <laughs> I have to crap at this. I got him. I got him. It took all my lives, but he's dead. There we go. World 1 we're done. <laughs> yeah. Right, on to World 2. Stage 2. Giza. Yeah, uh, it, it plays, in my opinion, loads better than Bear the Grudge, this. Um, it's aged a lot better. I, I think... I know Bear the Grudge was a free game, but... It just... It, it's like it's broken. It just doesn't play very well at all. Um, I, I would have liked to get got far enough to have seen some of the... Uh, some of the writers of the magazine's faces flying towards us, but other than that, I see no reason to visit it at all. It, it just really doesn't play nice. Whereas, whereas this is quite good fun, although it's quite fast. Oh. My reactions are not very good at all. Yeah, the fantasy zones uh, relying on me to save them. Uh, they're uh, shit out of luck, to be honest, because. I'd save no one, as anybody knows who watches a lot of my videos. Yeah, it's not very often I succeed. I think we're, I think we're approaching the uh, the boss again, possibly. I can't remember what the boss is on this level. Is it like, a, is it them heads spinning round and round? Oh, it got me. I think it's like a ring of them head things. If I remember correctly. Oh, it's all gone pink. Yep, there we go. Oh, dead. So I need to take all the heads out, which isn't going to happen because I'm nearly dead. Yep, I'm dead. 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 <laughs> Game over. <laughs> but we get to put Scar in. She's good. I think we'll have just like okay. it. What's it done? Oh, messed it up. There we go, Dave. Right, we'll have another go. One more go. <coughs> Excuse me. One more go. Stage one, moot. Don't know why they called it that. I remember playing this in the arcade on the big sit down machine. I think it was in uh, Somerset. Yeah, it used to... Uh, I think it was one of the early speech games. <clears throat> it used to tell you, you say, enter a fantasy zone and stuff like that. Ah, oh, two wasted lives there. Disappointed with that. I'm hoping to get to that second level, uh, second world boss again. Be nice to wipe him out. Now I've got them this time. Oh, bloody dragon thing. He's really fast with your shooting. You have to really be quick with your dodge. Seven lives. Oh. Done a lot better this time. We're doing great, apparently. Maybe the fantasy world isn't a uh, puppet after all. Yep, run away, run away, run away. You've got to look out for them flying smarties. They look like uh, gremlin heads. <laughs> oh. 
want as many lives as possible to try and get us onto the uh, third zone. No, nope. he says, uh, flying into two smarties back to back. Yeah, let's see uh, how much of a miss I can make of this level. <laughs> Yeah, because it's a Sega game, I think it's uh, got released on uh, most of the Sega consoles. I think you can play it on the Master System and the Mega Drive. And uh, it's probably been re-released on the PlayStation on a comp Sega compilation thing or something like that. Or the Saturn, maybe. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Please tell me in the comment section. Here we go. So we've got four lives this time. We have if I can manage not to walk, run into one of these rocks. No, oh, I've died already. Oh, come on. I wasn't even on. That's unfair. That's unfair. We're going to die. I got it. On my last life. So we did get through to the third zone. Yeah, I'm happy with that. We're doing great. Not for much longer. So it's given us a couple of lives, so at least we can uh, run straight into a flying mushroom type thing. <laughs> yeah, it's getting really busy now. So before I die, um, what were what are your memories of Space Area? Which version did you play? Uh, last life, I'm dying. Yeah, which version did you play? Which version did you like? Um, Ooh, that were really close. Oh, bug type things now. Don't think we're going to get much further. <laughs> no, no, that's it. I'm dead. I've got killed. Yeah, I really enjoyed that. And that is, it's just so much better than Bear the Grudge. Um, as I said, I know it was a free game, but Really poor, really poor. So it came out two years later and uh, was basically a total rip-off. As you can see, if you've watched this all the way through, total rip-off. But apart from the gimmick of having the uh, the, the, the comic, uh, the magazine uh, writers in, sorry, and the kamikaze bear, really had nothing to offer at all. Whereas this is great fun. So, yeah, I think that's about it. Thanks for watching, those who did. Uh, I hope you enjoy this David Bandy. It's for you. And anybody else who watches, as always, uh, I do enjoy doing the requests. I, I am trying to get them all rattled off. Um, yeah, yeah. Thanks for watching. Those who did, catch you later. Bye bye.